Hey, from Canada. Still parked at the lake that I was last night. Uh, equally beautiful today, although not as uh, mirror-like. I didn't sleep too well last night. I got woken up in the middle of the night and it sounded like some creature having a feast inside. Um, <laughs> it was the strangest thing. It just tripped me out because here I am, I looked at the clock, it was like four in the morning. I didn't know if it was like a bear inside, which obviously it wasn't, or if it was some kind of, I don't know, mouse or something. But it was definitely, there was some kind of noise going on. And I don't know if it was inside, outside, what. And it wasn't Tom from Cloud Bread Gallery who stopped by in the morning. Uh, thanks, dude, for the map. Um, look at this sweet map. He hooked me up with a map of uh, Tofino. Anyways, I'm not really sure what kind of animal it was, or even if it was animal, but it was definitely something. Let's hit the road. in the lowest setting which is one we're at an 18 18 percent grade 18 percent grade that's insane just where it was needed Loot. <laughs> I don't know. It's south of uh, Tofino. There's a uh, I think it's called Pacific Rim Trail, something like that. It's like a quote must, quote unquote must see. So I don't know. Let's go see it. absolutely epic hike um, it is definitely something to see <laughs> if you're in for kind of a longer flatter uh, hike with a lot of ocean views this one is for you um, and it's uh, I'm like the young buck out here <laughs> this is definitely a, a pretty touristy spot but for good reasons By the way, this area is called, or referred to as the Graveyard of the Pacific because of uh, the proximity to the Strait of Juan de Fuca. And it turns out there have been dozens and dozens of uh, shipwrecks uh, over the years. Looks like we got some uh, hitchhikers here. Do we pick them up? Do we pick them up? Yeah, let's pick them up. Hey, I'm Yo, up. what up? Where are you going? Pino. Where's that? I'm uh, just in town here. Cool. There's like five, eight minutes up. Right on. Here is Tofino. This is the main drag. Uh, it's a very kind of touristy uh, town. They require all the RVs to park in the same spot. I'm guessing that would be me as well. Um, yeah, but there's, you know, your Big Daddy's fish and chips or fish fry. You got your ice cream store. You got your trinket shops. So, um, as you know, I'm not really a huge trinket touristy kind of dude on this channel. If you like that kind of stuff, hey, thumbs up for you. And you should definitely come here and walk around, but I'm not really going to walk around because I'm not going to, like, buy anything. You know what I mean? Like, it's cool to look and you know, stuff like that, totally. But uh, I want to get down to the beach and, uh, I don't know, check out the waves. All right, so Tofino is on the far north side. The place where we started in the morning was on the far south side. Now I'm somewhere in the middle at a place called Long Beach because the beach is pretty long here. Eh? Pretty descriptive. Uh, the other side of this is where people are surfing. That's also where I parked. I was uh, scoping out the scene and the area. Uh, let's go have a walk.
beach. Great spot. Wish I had my surfboard. I left it back with a, a friend of mine in Orange County um, and to sell because I want to get myself what I'm going to call a good attitude uh, surfboard. I used to compete and uh, used to take it real serious and uh, kind of took the fun out of surfing for a while. So I want to get something a little bit wider, shorter, thicker, something more fun. Uh, anyways, um, it's Thursday today. I got to work Monday, and then I fly out Tuesday. So I'm thinking it's probably going to take me two days to get back to Portland. So uh, we're going to head back right now. This is a turn off for the landfill. If you guys want a uh, free RV spot or boondocking spot, no one will bother you out there. That's where I was told to go, but I just you know, saw the lake last night. Side of the road update. Uh, looks like uh, web series is on for next week. That, uh, that'll be cool. Uh, also, um, doing voiceover for another web series, which I mentioned, this one was back in Brazil. So I'm going to re be recording voice on Monday. Uh, looks like that's going through as well. Um, today in reality is Thursday. When you guys, guys watch the video, it won't be. It'll be like three days after, I think. That's uh, where, I, where I am. Uh, I got some work to do when I get back, which I'm going to try and get back tomorrow night so then Saturday Sunday I gotta redo the script and, and stuff like that I got things to sign errands so probably gonna take a couple days off letting you guys know in advance uh, and then also I'm gonna be on my trip and since it's for a, like a client they're gonna own it so most likely I will not be <laughs> bringing you guys along uh, although I'll probably bring my camera along uh, so there's that okay I am like two hours away from Victoria. I'm gonna catch a ferry tomorrow, then I'll be back in the States. Life is good. We are back at our friendly parking spot over here in Victoria over by the uh, back side of the casino. A couple things. One, I got some food going on over here. Okay, I guess all the pressure is released out of the pressure cooker. Also, um, pretty sure uh, when I took the ferry, I said reservations uh, are recommended. Well, <laughs> it's a good thing I gave myself a couple days to get back because if I was in a hurry, oh boy, man, would I be screwed. So this is how it works in five seconds. Uh, if it books, you can be, you can get in line at first come first serve. Now you can get in line the night before, uh, park your car, leave it overnight, and then come and get your car. But since I'm in a big car, they said you can't really do that. Plus, I don't think I could sleep there. So there's a midday one and there's an evening one. You know, I like to chill. I like to cruise. Um, so I could go midday and get in line again and do the whole thing. And maybe I'll call them in the morning. But what I think I'm going to do is just plan on showing up at 6 p.m., crossing into the evening and driving however far I need to get. Uh, that way, it'll be a lot easier. Ugh. There we go. That was longer than five seconds. Anyways, I know your time is valuable, and I appreciate you spending it with me. Should I get a new sign-off? Who knows? Uh, I'll see you guys back on the ferry tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.